Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the Ambulant Rejection Technology Gain Times 8. Uh, today I'm showing off my wallpaper projection screen. So these are the pre-coded wallpaper projection screens. They're fantastic for those of you who do not uh, like to want to paint or may not like to paint. Uh, those you do not want to build a frame or construct a frame or maybe you have restrictions where you can't grow holes in your walls or paint on your wall. So these screens are actually four feet by eight feet. Uh, they do ratio sizes of 69, 16, 10, and 235.1. This is coated with our Supreme 8 Ambulant Rejection Screen Paint, but also too, it's coated with a little bit of something a little extra. We always add on when we do our own form of, um, of projection screens. Now they are flexible for curving gaming simulators. Also too, they are perfect if you want to use them uh, for outdoors and screens are fully weatherproof and also too i know it's also too a lot they're ultra short though compatible all right so as you can see by looking at the screen it looks absolutely incredible now our screens have our screen paints and screens have the ability to pull up some of the highest white levels we've done demonstrations side by side to other black screen paints and also for black actually black paint other screen black screen paint mixes and also to uh, using a form of projection screen black material and keep in mind when we did these demonstrations I like to do demonstrations next to a uh, white screen saver snowstorm stuff like that where you're gonna see high bright white levels showing that our screens produce a higher white level I would never do that demonstration against skin tones because you really can't get a good idea on white levels now also too, like I said before and I say that a lot um, in our demonstrations. I said any black surface can pull a white, I mean, sorry, a, a, any black surface can pull a contrast level. Sorry about that. Filled with a lot of things, even turkey, so I'm a little woozy. That tryptophan's kicking in. So, anyway, so um, any black screen can pull contrast. The one thing and the key feature of a black screen is white levels. Without white levels, the image comes out muddy, it comes out dirty, and it comes out dingy. And we call this oversaturation of contrast levels, where the screen is producing so much of a black level, the image becomes dark and becomes dirty. So you have to have a perfect balance. All right, so first things first, let's start the demonstration so you can see exactly how amazing our product can be. Now my projector I'm using behind me is a Sony VPL. It is an FH30 projector. It is 1920 by 1200 and it's not even 4K. And of course we don't have to be subjected to the dark. And I know there's a lot of demonstrations that I'll watch. That majority of that demonstration will be done in the dark. They'll do just a little bit of it with the lights on just to try to prove a point. But the high points of that screen will be in the dark. And usually when you're looking at a screen that's a light gray or white, keep in mind these screens will never have the ability to produce contrast. That's why when they do these demonstrations in fully lit environments or somewhat lit environments, they will always stick to bright, vivid colors. They'll stay far away from that star field demonstration or any form of contrast because the screen will start to show a bit of a tannish or grayish look to the screen. Our screens don't have that problem because they produce 100% black levels. See the cat? Look at this. Look how beautiful the white levels are. You don't want a dingy, dirty look to it. A dark, dingy look. That's the last thing you want. Now, I had somebody asking me about the wallpaper screens. Are they portable? Yes, they are. Um, if you use double-sided Velcro, the screens can be removed off the wall. They can be rolled up and stored away.
And you see the individual hairs. Like I said, being done on a 720p projector. Sorry, my fault. Being done on a 1080p projector. I do apologize for that one. It just shows you, you do not have to spend the money for 4K. If you don't, you don't have to have 4K. You're gonna get the best performance from your projector when it, pretty, 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 put it this way. In order to get the best performance from your projector, you have to have a good screen. A screen that's going to play the larger role in your home theater setup. And if you have a poor quality screen, then you're going to get a poor quality picture. Now, I had people send me messages about do we support this projector and that projector. I want to add this in here again. We do not support fake and knockoff projectors. Now, if you go to our website, Marketplace, and you look down below the shopping cart, you will see a list of projectors our company supports. If your projector is not on that list, we do not support it. I've had people who basically would email me and try to persuade me to support a projector. And I keep telling them, no, it's not going to work on the screen. I went out and got that, um, I forgot the name of that projector. But I bought the projector, got it here, and beat it with 1100 lumen Sony projector. And the projector was supposed to be 32. They all react the same way. But we don't support anything that's knockoff or fake. Please uh, do not get duped into buying these projectors. And if you have recently purchased one, take it back. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at the white levels. So if I was on a gray screen, none of this would be black. All this would be gray. All this would be gray. Not with this kind of lighting in the environment. Now, some people may ask me, is my projector calibrated? Nope, not even calibrated. Calibrating a projector came out around the time when projection screens were all white. There's no such thing as gray screens or black screens, didn't exist. When screens were white, you had to calibrate your projector. That's where that came from. Because you had no choice, you were using a white screen, a white screen didn't have the ability to pull proper color and proper contrast or whatever needed to be done with the projector to get the color to be a perfect balance. And that's where calibration came in. Now today, you really don't have to calibrate a projector if you don't want to. Majority of most people do, due to the fact that if you are using a lighter screen, you do have to basically calibrate the projector because they react similar to white screens. But black screens don't have that problem. You don't have to calibrate a projector when it comes to a black screen. Color is automatically gonna pop. I wish I could move that fast. Look at the water. That is one happy dude. I'm 
you look at the individual hairs on his head. And this is without 4K, mind you. Without 4K. Now, if I can make a 1080p projector look this amazing on this screen, what do you think 4K would look like? All right, I hope all of you had a happy Thanksgiving. I thought I'd do one last video before I retire for the night. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our wallpaper screens are stocked and available on our website. They go for around $468. Also too, we have our amazing screen paints that allow you to turn just about any surface you want into an amazing high contrast black projection screen. Free worldwide shipping is available with all our products except for the projection screen packages. Sorry, we cannot ship those out for free. Well, we can't ship them out overseas. We only ship them out only available within the United States. Just want to show you a little bit more. Everybody wants those insane white levels. All right, thank you all for your time. I have to go and God bless.